because NFL, they've officially banned the hip drop tackle, and it's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down that will be enforced if any player uses that technique of performing a hip drop tackle. Now, they're not just done there. The NFL got even more after that. In addition to the hip drop tackle, the NFL, they also approved an extra team challenge if a team is correct about one of the first two challenges. So in total, they get three challenges as long as you're correct about one of the two challenges that you've used. I know it's like a, it's a little it's a little blurry right there, but we'll clarify that. But first things first, bro. With this hip drop tackle, it's so soft, man. It's so soft. It's so soft. What is happening to the game that I fell in love with, bro, in terms of football, bro? What, what is going on? Because I remember the game I fell in love with was watching Ray Lewis hit the hole and smack a running back, knock his lights out, or catch somebody on a screen pass, knock their lights out. Watching Troy Palomalu come over top, smack a wide receiver who just caught the ball and didn't protect himself. Watching a running back like Adrian Peterson run full speed, truck a, truck a, a linebacker, a defensive back, put them in the dirt and take it for six. Like, you almost can't do any of that stuff no more in the NFL without getting fined. Running backs get fined for trucking players. Um, defensive backs get fined for targeting, for hitting guys huh, too hard. And now you got uh, guys who can't even do a hip drop tackle. And, and just to clarify, too, on the hip drop tackle, to, to kind of explain what it is for anybody who, who's not familiar, because I know it's a weird-ass term, hip drop tackle. It's pretty much a standard tackle. Um, when you chase somebody and you grab you grab their hips and you just fall with your weight. If you can't bring them down with your arms, like many people can't do when you're when you're tackling in football, you have to use your weight to really bring them down. So now they're banning this move of grabbing someone by your hips and kind of using your weight to pull them down because of collateral damage. People have gotten hurt. You roll some ankles. You know, toe up some shins, hurt some knees because of this type of tackle. So they're trying to make the game a lot more safe. And, and I respect that part. But also one of the things I don't understand personally from the NFL is how long is it really going to take for them to realize that there is no way you can make this game of football safe? When you're asking guys to run at each other head on and hit each other, bam, 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 right in the head, helmet to helmet. How can you possibly make this game safe? It's literally impossible to make this game safe and to prevent injuries in the NFL when you have guys running full speed at each other. It's something that's never going to happen. And I'm just curious of when the NFL is really going to pick up on that because year after year, we're moving closer and closer to flag football. Why not just implement it, bro? Like, like just save us some time of being sad and, and, and being sad about the game we love being picked apart. And just go full throttle in flag football at this point, bro. Because as long as running full speed at each other is a key component in football, it'll never be safe, ever. And my theory behind this, in terms of uh, the NFL trying to continue to make the game safe, in quotations, is I, I'm really starting to believe they're getting fixated on making this an offensive-oriented game because you, you see it. Um, we had that one Super Bowl. I can't remember the exact number, but a couple years back, we had a, a very defensive Super Bowl. People were complaining about it. Anytime there's defensive games in the NFL, people are complaining about it. So to me, I'm looking at all of this make the game safer type stuff as a way for the NFL to say, we got to let guys score. Because if you can't hip drop tackle people, if you can't make a regular tackle on defenders who are 235 pounds, how can you stop them from scoring the ball? What are you supposed to do if you're a defensive back that's 190 pounds and you got a tight end that's 250 running at you? What are you supposed to do? You can't use your weight to bring that guy down at this point? No, that's BS. You got these huge running backs, these huge tight ends that, that can't be brought down by a simple arm tackle. You're not slamming him to the ground with just your arm strength. It's not happening. And because of that, guys like Derrick Henry, guys like Travis Kelsey are going to have 400 plus yards each game if you allow this to happen. Nobody's going to make an arm tackle and stop someone that's running full speed at 230 pounds. It's not happening. It's silly work. 
from the NFL. And it's silly for anyone who thinks that this is going to be effective in terms of actually making the game safe. Because I guarantee you people continue to get injured off those knickknack injuries of ankle injuries, um, knee injuries, shoulder, all of the above. Everything you can think of in terms of somebody falling on top of each other in the NFL, it's still going to happen because you cannot stop it. And yeah, it might help your star guys. It might, it might help your wide receivers and stuff like that. But what about those offensive linemen who are really in the trenches putting in work protecting their quarterback? They are the ones, the main ones that get jacked up in terms of getting rolled over sometimes with their ankles and their knees and their legs and, and all of those stuff. They're the main ones sometimes because they're backpedaling. They're trying to keep these huge 300 pound defenders from getting to a quarterback. It makes no sense. You're not going to be able to make that safe. You're not going to be able to to take away certain elements of the game. So what options do these guys have now? Arm tackling. Arm tackling is what these guys have now. And I feel bad for it because telling defenders to not be able to do a form tackle like they're used to and to change the way they tackle is like telling a quarterback to throw with his non-dominant hand. It's not good for business and it's not going to look pretty at the end of the day. So I, I don't know. In terms of the, the hip drop tackle, that's a weird element that they've added to the game. And then now we know that coaches, they get this extra challenge if they get the first one of the first two correct. Um, so let's say a coach, um, he starts off with two challenges. He challenges something in the first quarter. He gets it right. He now has two more challenges instead of just one left. So I, I think this is cool. I don't really have a problem with this here. The only thing I can think of in terms of um, where this could be an issue is just the response time of watching monitors over and over and over again. Like I want to see actual football action when I'm watching the game. So sometimes of you know sitting here looking at the screen watching them review this play that was a fumble or review this play that wasn't a hip drop tackle be considered something as such to me i feel like that's gonna bother me in a sense but you know hey it, it's, it's cool because clutch moments at a game guys get an extra challenge so hey I, I mean i'm not mad at that now the nfl still isn't done i know i mentioned all of these other things but they still got some stuff to go on um now the replay assistant will now be allowed to correct certain types of incorrect calls on the field for roughing the passer and intentional grounding now, the replay assistant is the person who's holding the monitor for the referees to look at. And the main concern here for me is like, how much weight is this replay assistant really going to hold? Because if you got the, the crew chief or the referee uh, or the referee crew chief saying, hey, this was not intentional grounding, but the assistant is saying, this looks like intentional grounding to me. <laughs> what are we going to do about that? I, I need to know how much weight he's going to hold. So I would love to see more information where that's coming from. But I don't know, man. Um, all of this stuff is going to be needed in terms of the new challenge, um, the, the review assistant, the replay assistant. All of that is going to be needed with this hip drop tackle stuff. It's nonsense to me, 